What is up everybody, it is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and what you are about to watch is Training Camp Reaction Review and News Episode 2. We dive in a little bit about what Doug, Doug Marone, almost said Doug Baldwin, what Doug Marone has to say about the Yannick and Gawkway situation. We also talk about the strange first day starting offensive line, and the Jaguars signed a new defensive back as well and more topics as well on this day two of jaguar training camp but before we dive into this video why don't you go ahead and leave a like down below if you are excited for the jaguars 2019 season to begin and hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you get notified every time one of these training camp reaction review and news videos come out so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's hop into the video what is going on everybody it is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and we are officially in day number two of Jaguar training camp and we are going to be discussing all the biggest headlines coming out of today's training camp today was not as exciting or you know yesterday wasn't as exciting but it definitely had some news this week though there's not a whole lot of news to be discussed just a little bit and we will dive into all of those news stories in this video ladies and gentlemen so without further ado let's not delay the video any longer this is the Jaguar training camp reaction review and news episode 2 the first story of the day is talking about how Doug Marone talked about the Yannick Ngakwe situation now Doug Marone addressed the Yannick Ngakwe situation as reported by John Osier and he said that it was all part of the business side of football, and he completely understands it. And it's good to see that Doug Marone, not that I think he would, is going to be bashing Yannick Ngakwe for holding out and not, you know, playing, you know, for the team. The guy has to report to camp in August, at August 6th, no matter what, even if a contract is not done due to the terms in his contract. So, Yannick Ngakwe will be in the building by August 6th, but if he will have a new contract is still yet to be determined. Doug Marone is definitely right. This is the business side of football, and we can only hope and pray and cross our fingers that Yannick Ngakwe gets the long-term deal that he deserves, so he's going to be a part of the Jacksonville Jaguars for a long, long time. And our second piece of news is Nick Foles decided to sit and talk about how he's developing a connection with the wide receivers. Now he said that there are a bunch of guys that do a bunch of things really, really well, which has been what I've been saying for the last couple of weeks, that there are individual wide receivers that each do one particular thing extremely well, and Nick Foles likes this. He thinks that it's to his benefit. He also would like to turn to the defensive backs on how he can get better and how that this connection will develop throughout the season as well. Take a look at what Nick Foles had to say. You guys able to have deeper conversations with like you and your teammates? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, right now after practice we're able to talk about different things because we've played together, you know, through the spring so we understand each other a little bit more. So we're able to, you know, talk about the ins and outs of maybe, you know, route running, what I'm thinking, um, you know, talking to the DBs, what they see. Um, I'm not just talking to the offense guys. I want to see what the defense sees. I want to see like what they're thinking based on our splits, what they're seeing based on my footwork, because I feel like we can make each other better um, as a team, because we got a lot of talented players here, so we just got to keep giving each other each other's knowledge. And credit again to my guy, John Osier, one of the best that cover the Jaguars. He's one of my favorites. Now, Nick Foles is indeed looking like a pro. He sounds like a pro. You know, when Blake Bortles would take the stand on media days, he'd just be like, yeah, you know, whatever, whatever. Nick Foles, he's sharp, he's up, he looks like a leader, he looks like a guy that you want quarterbacking your team, so I cannot complain about that in the slightest bit. And the fact that he is really concerned about what not only his receivers think that he can do better as a passer, he's also relying on what the defense sees to give him some pointers on how he can improve his game and his connections with the wide receiver as a whole. This Jaguar team really feels like a unit right now, and it sounds like they're all helping each other, which is exactly what you want want from your favorite football team. This next piece of news is about a signing the Jaguars made today and it was first reported on by Pro Football Talk and NBC Sports and first brought to my attention by Mr. Christopher Columbus. Shout out to my guy Chris, one of my most loyal subscribers and a good friend as well for giving me this information so I could throw it in to this episode of Training Camp Reaction Review and News. Now this guy is named Josh Robinson. I personally have never heard of him. He has had a little bit of playing time for the Vikings, Saints, and Bucks, and it looks like he's a guy that might be able to compete maybe for the nickel corner position as far as being like a two or a three. You kind of got to think DJ Hayden has that on lock, but maybe for good depth he might be a 
good uh, signing for the Jaguars overall. He might see some playing time. He might see the final roster. We have to see what he has to do. And again, I don't know a whole lot about him. I'm going to have to do some film research after this video is over. Or should I say after the live Yee lifestyle podcast that is going to air at 7 p.m pacific standard time if you are watching this right now you should stop watching it and go watch the live stream we got a great camping story this is my shameless plug ladies and gentlemen but we have josh robinson to compete in the secondary to see if he can earn himself a job and you know you like that for players and again don't know a whole lot of them we're gonna have to do some film study on that but the jaguars did sign mr josh robinson and for our final piece of news on this training camp reaction review and news episode 2, we have the weird starting 5 of the offensive linemen that came out for the first 11-on-11. 11 11. We had Josh Wells at left tackle, Andrew Norwell at left guard, AJ Can at right guard, and Cedric Ogabaye at the right tackle position. Now there's two things. Cam Robinson could, you know, there's a possibility. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure if he's not with these starters, he might not be 100% ready from his uh, knee injury from last season. So he might be able to come back and camp a little later. So that explains the Josh Wells. I can't believe we still have Josh Wells. That just blows my mind. But Josh Wells in at the starting left tackle for now. And Andrew Norwell, Brandon Linder, AJ Can we know. Uh, is the guy there and then Cedric Ogobaye, which I like this and you know it's a total Jaguar move to have like a veteran player start off camp at the right tackle position and I talked about this a little bit you know when we drafted Jawan Taylor and I said you know I wouldn't be surprised if Cedric Ogobaye got the start maybe in camp but then you know eventually when Jawan Taylor comes around he gets that starting right tackle spot but as of now Cedric Ogobaye has that spot he's a veteran he's gonna have to earn it and you know he's gonna be battling with one of the best offensive linemen that were in last year's draft class so it's gonna be an interesting battle to watch there it's gonna be interesting to see if Cedric Ogobaye holds on to that uh, throughout camp and throughout preseason and maybe into the regular season as well that's gonna be a very interesting camp battle to keep your eyes on ladies and gentlemen and that was training camp reaction review and news episode two what you guys think leave your comments down below don't forget check the links down below as well you can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks or follow me on Instagram at Trey Fawn Pixley also if you haven't yet Hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Dems are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.